So it's been a really long time since I have made like an on-camera video. The only video <laughs> that I've put up in the past year was a seasonal TBR for this spring. Um, but I just made myself a new TBR jar, so I figured I would do a TBR video for July. I'm gonna do three picks to keep my reading very casual. The past year, year and a half, I've had to be very casual with my reading or I end up in a slump. So we're gonna limit it to three picks and honestly, <laughs> there's gonna be no real stress put on myself to read these books. It's more just for fun. But again, I figured why not? People enjoy watching TBR videos. I enjoy making TBRs even if I never read the books that are on them. So the only other thing that I am doing with my reading is um, Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand and her friend Lindsay did a summer reading bingo board. So I'm kind of working my way through that, but it's very casual. It's not like a readathon or anything. I'll link her video down below. So if you want to check it out, you can. Just something to have in mind and I guess to share with you if you're interested in doing the bingo board. Um, but yeah, so let's get on with the picks so this video doesn't end up being super long uh, because nobody want to edit that. All right, so pick number one will be this one. All right, and it is Next in Series. So for Next in a Series, um, I don't think <laughs> this whole book is going to happen in the month of July, uh, considering how long it took me to read the first one. I do really love the first one, but I'm actually not even finished with it now. I'm almost finished with it, but I'm not quite finished with it. Okay, well... <laughs> It's The Liar's Knot by M.A. Carrick. It is the continuation of the Brick and Rose series? Is it a trilogy? Is it a series? I'm not sure. Um, but the first book is The Mask of Mirrors. It was recommended to me by Angela over at Literature Science Alliance, as well as I've heard quite a few other people um, say that they absolutely loved that book. In the first book, I don't know anything about the second book. Like I said, I haven't even finished the first book completely. So I didn't even read the back of this because I don't want any, I don't like, I don't want to know anything. Um, but the first book, you're following this girl who's a con artist um, as she's kind of working her way into high society. Um, and then some stuff happens. So uh, it starts off like a little, well, I don't want to say the first book starts off a little slow because it was actually, I was really enjoying the first part of it and then like pretty much at the halfway point of the book, like the plot really gets going and it actually, like it kind of threw me for a loop how how much of like a 180 it did all of a sudden. Um, but some people do say that book is very slow. So I don't know, we'll see how this one goes. I'm very excited to read this, but again, I have to finish the first one first. Pick number two. This one. Aha! Most recent, most recent purchase. I'm excited about this one. I already know what it is. So for most recent purchase, I have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I'm super excited to read this. I've heard kind of mixed things about it. But Beach Read by her was like one of my favorite books when I read it. I convinced like all of my friends that are into romance to read it and they all loved it. So that was the only book that I've read by her. But this was pretty much like I bought it as soon as it came out and I was so excited to read it. And then it just kind of sat on my pile of shame for, for a month. But yeah, this was my most recent purchase and I am super excited to read it. Uh, what's it about? All I remember about the blurb without like reading it to you word for word is it's about a girl and her sister and they go to North Carolina during the summer, I think. Um, and she's trying to get away from her job. She's like a literary agent or an editor or something. And she ends up meeting up or she ends up meeting another literary agent or editor, whatever her job is, um, that she doesn't like, 
Like, it's the exact opposite of a meet-cute. Like, they've met a million times before and they don't like each other. So originally I thought this book was like an enemies to lovers romance, but then I heard it's not heavy on the romance, so I'm not really sure how it's going to be or what it's going to be, but I'm excited to read it. And last pick will be this one. Ah, a new to me author. Okay. And then lastly, I got a new to me author. And for this, I'm going to try to read Black Sun by Rebecca Rowanhorse. Sorry, I have my Libby up on my phone. Um, I legitimately can't summarize this book for you at all. But apparently it was like all over booktube while I was gone. So hopefully you already know what it's about. Um, Basically, like I said, I don't know anything about this book. I'm going off of the high ratings of people that I really trust their opinions on books. So hopefully I'll like it. Um, I don't actually have it yet. I am waiting for my hold to come in from the library, but it should be in by July. All right, so that's it for my three books. I have these two plus Black Sun. Is that what it's called? Black Sun? Yes, Black Sun. So these two plus Black Sun. Uh, that is going to be my TBR for the month of July. We'll see how I do. Like I said at the beginning, my reading has been very casual, very mood ready. I mean, I was always a mood reader, but especially now I am very much a mood reader. Um, and yeah, so we'll see if I get to them. We'll see if I don't. I guess that's it for this video. Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you enjoyed them, if you didn't, especially this one. Like I've seen such mixed things and I loved her other books so much that I'm a little nervous going into this one because that's the only one I ever read from her. So I don't know if my expectations are a little too high for that. But yeah, that's it for me today. And yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Whenever next time is. Bye. Thank you.